Whoa, Nelly. Here we are. Yes, we are back. We didn't get a video ID winner, so we're just going to skip that part and go directly to the new group on Giant Records. Hank Flamingo. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I'm kind of early, aren't you? It's, it's a little early. <laughs> Boy, there's a lot of you. It looks like six. Uh, we'll, yeah. We've got a six, man. They're all here, as a matter of fact, bright and early. But thanks for coming. Thank you for, having, for having us. Now, uh, you're a brand new group, and I, and I want first off, maybe you guys could uh, tell us, how'd you get your name? Hank Flamingo. We come to work when? Uh, when was it? It's Dow, your turn Thursday? to tell it. <laughs> okay, uh, we practiced in an old farmhouse in Las Casas, Tennessee, and there was a picture of Hank Sr. on the wall. And uh, we didn't have a name. We were uh, messing around with the band, and, uh, and uh, the... the the portrait was on the wall of Hank Sr. and somebody had given us some some plastic yard flamingos as a gift. <laughs> and they were all hanging there together and somebody said, Looky there, there's old Hank Flamingo. And I said, What'd you say? Hank Flamingo. The name, Flamingo. So that's stuff. that's how it came about. I'll never ask you that again, as long as I've got the, the true story. Everybody <laughs> for a while anyway. We don't wow. mind, you know, it's uh, we are a band. It's not Hank Flamingo's not one person. And we like to get that, right. you know, uh, known pretty, pretty much up front. <laughs> right off the top, yeah. golly. Well, how'd y'all get together? <laughs> I mean, how'd the band get formed? Well, it's it's kind of a, a combination of things. Roy and I, the tall one in the red vest stand back up. here. Stand up. Let him look at you, Roy. Let me stand. Yeah, stand, stand up, Roy. That's Roy. He's, Leading, rebound, he's the tallest, team. most famous member of the band. Uh -huh. But uh, the Roy and I were in a band together for three or four years out of Murfreesboro called the Blind Farmers. And we broke up in the summer of 89. I'm not going to ask you how you got that name. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to know. Okay. Uh, and we uh, were too drunk to fish that day anyway. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> uh, Roy and I, we broke up, or the band we were in broke up in 89, and Dave Powers, who is not here, by the way, hi, Caroline, have hi a boy. Uh, okay. One of the guys that does our, helps with our management, Dave Powers, his wife's having a baby today. Oh, that's wonderful. Right now. Right, yeah, right as we yeah, speak. Right. I forgot what I asked you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Eddie and Stu were, were in a band together. Run with you. We, what yeah. we did is we went in. <laughs> As a joke, we went in to do a studio project for Dave Powers, who was still in school at MTSU. It wasn't a joke. I was taking it serious. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> it's a joke and to everybody else. Things man. just kind of grew from that. We had a yeah. Halloween party we out We realized the farm. we had a really cool sound, yeah. and, and, uh, and it just grew from that. It's, I'll tell you what. Some people are calling it uh, the next sound to light up country music. I saw well, critics say that. I mean, you're like wonderful. driving on two wheels. You had a, a date at uh, New York, the Lone Star Cafe, yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah. We played the New Music Seminar. Yeah, and that's where you can really lighten up and let loose and be who you are. We just yeah, nobody knew us. You know, we'd go up there and mm -hmm. do our thing, and, uh, and we did. It was, it was a good time. We played loud what, what and is, fast. Can you, can, Trent, can you tell us what your thing is? I mean, is it loud and like We just try to, you know, just get down every time we play it, you know. And just be yourselves. Be and ourselves and, 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 and give everybody their money's worth, you know. If you paid uh, your three bucks at the door, then you get three dollars worth, so. Sometimes you might get six, depending on what kind of night we're having. <laughs> really? well, of course, you guys obviously are doggone intelligent because you brought us your new video to world premiere. Hey. Ooh, yeah, this is brand new, never been seen before, and we might want to, uh, maybe we shouldn't say who it was written by yet. Let them, let them see it and uh, see what they think. It is indeed. <laughs> it, does, it does mention the word baby in it, so there's oh, a, clue. Right? a clue. So call <laughs> in if you can. <laughs> Big clue. Well, let's get to get to know these guys a little bit better then. Hank Flamingo, this is their world premiere, their debut video, Baby, It's You. Hang on to your hats. Can Hank Flamingo come out and play? Sure. My friends to sell my bar stool. Ain't hanging around here anymore. Change my address and my number. Don't want to knock it at the door. Ain't got no secrets in my wallet. No photographs that I should hide. I don't look twice at other women. No, I don't have that desire. Why I'm bringing someone home She looked 
to be nearly fainting Says get the preacher on the phone Hank Flamingo. Yeah. Unbelievable. You guys uh, evidently uh, eat a lot of loose. sugar or something? Or? <laughs> it's just uh, <laughs> Mr. Thorzine uh, medication, the, uh, right? When the camera comes on, you know, you just got to Hey, man, it's really great. Good you. song. I'm telling you, that one is going to catch. It, it caught on with me. It's hard to say, but, I mean, who wrote it? Well, um, Where'd you get it? A young songwriter here in town, uh, Harlan Howard, and uh, a fellow named Costas, and a guy named David Goodwin. Un so unbelievable. Together, How in the world did you get like a hold that. of that? They may be big hits. Uh, we, uh, they don't know about it yet. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I knew somebody had a good answer. <laughs> Great songwriters, master songwriters here in town. And of course, I haven't heard uh, the complete album, but I know that you have another song on there, Gooseneck Trailer. What is this about your love? Is, uh, what is it? What's we the line? <laughs> we we, we uh, like to mix love songs and agriculture and <laughs> food. There's one on there called Slaw, but we want to talk about that right now. Oh. But, uh, Love songs and agriculture, something we really know or care a lot about. And I see. Trent been playing around for a long time with, you know, I need a gooseneck trailer to haul your love. And when we started putting the band together, that, that was one well, of the first things we did. Tear up right sure, there. I'm oh, telling you, man. It's one of those every time. <laughs> it's a gut wrencher. <laughs> <laughs> it's just great. It's your super. single, has it hit radio yet or is it about to? We're going to let the video play. I hope it gets played a lot. And uh, we're going to let it play for a couple of weeks and let everybody uh, see us and then. Uh, release the single about the 21st of uh, next month, September, okay. September 21st. Unfortunately, though, we're going to have to wait a little longer for your album, which is completed and will be available January? January 11th, I believe, is the release date for the album. How long have you guys all been together? Nearly four years. Is that right? Wow. Be four years come As out. As a band, we've been friends for yeah. eight or nine. Which one majored in broadcasting? Uh, Trent did, didn't you? No. That no, was, wasn't you? That's that was drummer. Really uh-huh. Miss Roy? For a, Nobody else? For a semester. Then they asked me to leave, so... <laughs> <laughs> Politely. Uh, that no, he just got a letter in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come back. <laughs> well, you guys are definitely ragtag, very different. Uh, what a group. Uh, we, we wish you a lot so of luck in the, the song, of course, also. Keep it, uh, keep it going. Thanks for having us. Come out and see us. That's the catch us on. That's the come out to the farm. Somewhere. Oh, that's right. We have some Fan dates right because uh, there you go. Mr. Fry, your buddy, just told me about one of them. Let's see. We got Columbia, Missouri. Yeah. Is that a benefit? Gonna, gonna be up there yeah, in Columbia on the sixth with uh, Doug Supernall and Restless Heart doing a flood relief benefit concert at uh, the Hearn Center on the University of Missouri campus. Great. So. Tickets well, available now. Everything. I, I, I just knew we had to be somewhere on Sunday. He knows their. Phone. <laughs> we're to go somewhere. He knows, he knows their phone number too. Where else are we playing, Ben? Well, it's the next night. We're going to be the seventh, which is Tuesday. We'll be at the Silver Bullet in Columbia, Missouri. Uh, we hadn't got anything the 8th, so if anybody wants us to come play in your hometown on the 8th, give us a call. Okay. Uh, That's a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Well, Thursday the 9th, we'll be in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the City Limits. That's where Brooks and Dunn shot their Boots, Scoot, and Boogie video. Oh, good. And then...
then uh, the tenth will be in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, we can't tell the police we're coming because they still stew from, from Kansas, that area. So and uh, some priors. We got we'll be the AWOL with, thing with our label mate up, Deborah though. Allen the tenth, and then we'll play be playing the Neon Cactus the eleventh. Oh, so come see us, please. There's the fan please. club right now, right? For more information, mm -hmm. and eight by tens and stuff like that. Oh yeah. And more information. Take you a while to, to get, <laughs> get through. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Thanks a lot. Really Good luck. Best wishes. Appreciate it. Thank All you. right, Hank Flamingo and Video Morning will be right back. Hi, Mom. Good luck, Dave, and your baby. <laughs> <laughs>